Okay. What's up, fam? So I had another idea. Uh, uh, fam doesn't care about your idea. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to do this. Uh, there's a couple of things that I want you to do with this tune. We are learning to learn how to learn how to play jazz and all kinds of other stuff. So the very at its very basic, this is a very basic chart, which means it has very bare bones um, harmony and uh, melody that is written very squarely. So what we're gonna do is first you learn the melody. melody, memorize the melody. The second thing you're going to do is learn the chords in root position with your left hand. So just run through the chords, memorize the chords, think about the chords. C minor 7, C, E flat, G, and B flat. F7, F, A, C, E flat. You could even go so far as to think C minor 7. The root is C, the third is E flat, the fifth is G, the seventh is B flat. These are little tidbits of knowledge that you have to have immediately in your brain without even thinking about it. Uh, learn all the chords, learn the melody, then I skipped over one thing. The scales that are involved in this tune. Again, we're doing a very basic stripped down version. This is, uh, initially we're in B flat major. Okay, so play B flat major. Left hand. together. Oh, fingering, by the way, I don't know if you know your fingering, but left hand, start on three, four, and on three, then back down. Right hand, start on four, then you go one, two, three, three, four, okay? Again, think about the scale. You uh, have been playing long enough to really start to think about this stuff. This ties into your ear training. B flat is the root. C is the second, third, fourth, fifth, etc. So when you hear melodies and things in your head, when you do your ear training, we're tying this together. Uh, so when in your mind you hear ba, you don't play. You play ba. Only when you're in your head, head you hear ba. Then you play that ba. Okay. So that's why we learn theory. We have labels for these sounds. This is the seventh note in the scale, which is A. In your mind, you know it sounds like ba. Okay. So when you go to improvise. One point off, one point off for Gianni. So, because um, uh, all at the end of the day, all improvising is, it's like having a conversation. You have thoughts and you express them using words. Same with music, you hear melodies and you express them by playing this. Doesn't go well for introverts. No, I mean, you could just, in like Joe's garage, you can just imagine notes and guitar solos, you don't actually have to play them. Uh, look it up if you don't know what go Joe's Garage is. Um, so, the first way that you're gonna play this, you're gonna learn this, you're gonna memorize it, you're gonna go all root position chords in your left hand. I'm oh, sorry. you're going to learn what are called shell voicings, which means you're gonna have your root either, so for each of these chords, either root and seven or root and third. We're gonna do it like this. You're gonna start with root and seventh with C minor, root and third with F major. Uh, uh, let's go major seven actually with that, uh, with the B flat. Anything that says six, do a major seven. Uh, so B flat major seven, just root and seven, then E flat root and third, A flat minor seven is root and seven, D is root and third, and G minor six we're going to convert that to a major seven. 
this makes it really, it's kind of an open sound and it's a very convenient thing for you to do with your left hand while you're improvising. Now, the first line is in B flat major, so when you improvise, major scale for now. We'll learn all the fancy stuff a little bit once you can do that. Now, second line. It's G harmonic minor. So the only difference is instead of F, you have an F sharp. Okay, so... Third line. B flat major. It. G harmonic minor. Then the next line, G harmonic minor. Back to B flat major at measure 22, which is the sixth line. And then you're going to switch to G Wait, harmonic so minor for the rest of the tune. Everyone? No, it's going. So first line, B flat major. Second line, G know. harmonic minor which is a relative minor, by the way. Third line, B flat major. Fourth line, G minor. Uh, fifth line, G minor. Sixth line, B flat major. Seventh and eighth line, G minor. So it sort of flips flips the script on the last page. Yeah. Uh, and we will talk more and more about that as we go along. Um. Oh, what was the, the other thing? Sorry, one more thing that I want you to do is create an arrangement uh, so that. for this tune. So what that what you're gonna do? Uh, we did it before. Yeah, I know. So you're taking the root here and the melody note there, and then you're filling in what's missing, missing. from this chord. So here we have the root, and we have the what's that? Uh, that's of, C, of C minor seven. Is it the root third fifth seventh? or none of the above. Uh, that, that's none. The E flat? Wait, E f minor, is that a minor? It is. That's a third. It's a minor third, yeah. So you got minor third. So we already got that one off the list. Uh, now we need a G, so either this G or this G. I'm gonna choose this G. And then we need a B flat, so either this B flat or this B flat. I'm gonna do that just because we're up there. So, okay, like that. This is a very sparse arrangement, just one of each of the notes. That's all I want. And write it down. Whatever you play with the right hand, write in the treble tw tw clef. In the treble clef. Tw clef. Whatever you write in the left hand, or play in the left hand, write in the bass clef.